G'day, welcome to This Is Riffin. Today we're going to look at Eatin' Dust by Fu Manchu. Definitely got to be one of my favourites by Fu Man. Such good riffs to play and both solos are fun as to play as well. I'm also pumped to finally do a Fu Man song because this Jag of mine has Bob Belch Railhammers in it, which are really sweet. Um, so yeah, it's rather fitting. So to play this song, you'll just have to tune your guitar to D standard tuning that goes like this. D, G, C, F, A, and D. But I'll probably just refer to standard tuning, so E, A, D, G, B, and E. I actually just played that intro riff then in two different ways and the first way was just using straight strumming where the second way was actually doing hammer-ons and I just did that because it feels like on the actual album version it's just straight strumming I could be wrong there but the notes are just really clear as opposed to the live stuff where the boys just seem to be doing hammer-ons which is just a bit easier so I'm just going to show you both ways and then you can choose whichever way you please so for the one without hammer-ons, it's just starting at a 5 on the top string and then a 7. And it probably helps just to use your first and your third finger here for all this riff, just to play it a bit easier. But use, you know, whichever fingers work best for you. So it's 5, 7. And then same thing on the A string. Then a 5 on the D. Back to 7 on the A. Nice little run down and then back up in a sense. Um, and then it's two fives on the A, then a seven five seven on the A as well. Um, might help to just leave your first finger at five there for that last little tail. So it's seven, five, seven. So your finger's ready to go. And then the last little bit's five, seven again on the top string. 5, 7 on the A, 5 on the D, back to 7, and then the ending's just a little different, 5, 5, 7 on the A. So I'll run through it fairly slow. Faster. And then it shouldn't take you too long to build up a bit of speed with that one because it's fairly straightforward but obviously sounds sick. So the other way I just mentioned was doing hammer ons instead. So you could do 5 7 as a hammer on and then a 5 7 on the A as a hammer on as well. And then everything else is pretty much the same. And then the tail end, hammer on again. So yeah, I'll just run through that a bit slower for you. So they sound really similar. Like I'll do the first one and then the hammer on version. go wrong either way. The verse riff's a pretty straightforward one as well. It's just going to have power chords played starting at fret five on the A string. And I like to use my pinky here, but by all means use your third finger. So it's five on the A and a seven on the D. 
And so you just do one strum and then slide to seven and nine as a power chord. So you're going to strum that twice. And then you're going to go to fret three on the A string as a power chord. Just one strum. Move it up to the top string, fret three as a power chord. Three strums of that. And then just here, I'm chucking in an open because um, it sounds like on the album it does that. It just flows into the next section a bit more smoother rather than just sort of stopping at the threes. So you don't have to do the open if you don't want, um, but it gets you into fret one on the A string as a power chord, and then bring that up to one on the top string, three strums of that, and then an open, which helps you get back into the start again. So I'll sort of do it a bit more slower, just running through. So when you play a bit fast, you don't even really notice it's there. And if you don't do it, it will sound a bit more like this. So it's a bit more sharper, um, but just not as cruisier in a sense. So it still works, but just not the same feel. Now with it. As I mentioned in a lot of my videos, I don't consider myself much of a solo guitar player. So that was my pretty rough attempt at it. But I think it sounds pretty close to what's going on with the album. On the live stuff, Bob does the majority of it up here it seems like. But on the album it starts down here first. And I'll explain why I think it does that along the way. So I won't fully dive into it, but what I'll do is I'll just chunk parts together and then play it through slowly and explain a few little things along the way. So for this bit here, it just helps using correct fingers, I think. So seven and nine, use your first to your third. A few little vibratos. And then when you get to here, it's an eight bend on the B. Try and use your second if you can. But of course you don't have to. And then nine, seven on the G, third and first. And then if you can, try and go up to your first finger on seven, on the D, with a slide to five. And then a seven, five, zero, as a pull off. That would just allow you to play it a bit more faster eventually. This next section here is really similar again. With that bends. Um, this time though it's a nine, seven on the G and then a pull off to open on the G. And so with that first and second bit, this is why I think they're doing it down here for the, the album version, just because of those pull offs, um, which is a bit trickier to do up here. That's why I think Bob just ends up playing it up here. So yeah, you could do it up here definitely, but um, it's just a bit easier doing it down here. Especially for that seven open. And then it's a seven five on the D, and then a seven slide on the A. So for that last little bit, just use your first finger. So I'll go from that bend at eight, nine, seven open, and then just put your first finger up, and slide to five with a seven. Hope that doesn't confuse the hell out of you.
This little bit here, just try and use your first and third fingers, majority of the hammer ons. Would really benefit from that. Nice few little bends going on, vibrato. And a little slide at the end. Love this little ending here um, on this part. So I'm using my third and first finger again for the majority of this, I think. That little bend there you bring up and then bring back down before doing a flick off to 12 as a pull off. Another 14, 12. And then up you come, so yeah, third and first. little ending there, I'll put a question mark above the 10 because it's a bit iffy to tell what Bob's exactly doing there, but do the 10, it works pretty sweet. And it's just a really nice run going down. That 12 to 10 there, try and use your first finger. So I'll go from that third bar. Something like that. the 129 mark we get this sweet part of the song it's just an open open power chord on the top string so that's open on top and a two on the a so two strums and then you go to five seven as a hammer on on the a string so again first and third finger really helps down to five on the d back to seven on the a and then you do that again another guitar is just doing the opens but you can combine both and that sounds sick. Fun to try and get the open in there if you can. Again, my solo is not spot on there, but um, it's pretty close, I think. I'll just mention that as I wasn't playing along with the album, the feel of it might have been just a little bit off there, but as long as you're hitting those correct frets, um, you should be all sweet. I'll just play it through slowly and give you a few little tips along the way. Starts with an open power chord, and then just an open on top, buys you time to get up to the 12-14. Nice bend there, bring it down with the pull off to 12. Does that a few times. And then here will just be a 12, 14 hammer on, on the D. A couple of times. A 12 um, bend on the G. And then a 14, 12 on the D. And this runs really similar to the last one. Jumping down here to 12 is a bit of a tricky one on the G, 14 on the D, and then you sort of use your third finger here as a bar move to get to 14 on the G, and with a bend. So that's a bit of a tricky one, that last um, bar there. So I'll go from the 14 on the A in the last bar, try and use your third finger, first finger for 12 on the G, third finger for 14 on the D, and then drop it down to do the 14 bends. Nice little vibrato at the end there. So I'll do that a little bit faster. I'll go from the start of that section. little part of the song. The double tracks here sort of help with the bendy bits going on. 
So what I've played doesn't do a complete justice, but you should be fine if you're hitting these frets. So we'll just start by doing a power chord at seven on the A string. So a seven and a nine on the D. And it's only this bit where it does the seven first, where all the others are the five, seven, seven as usual. So yeah, just keep that in mind. It starts with the seven, seven. And then you'll do a bend at nine on the G. Bring it up is probably a bit easier. I'll probably use my pinky there for the example. And then jump to my second finger. But if you're using your third finger for that power chord, probably just drop your third finger to do the bend. So just choose as you please there. And then it's a three is a power chord on the A string, up to three on top. So that's just as usual like the other bits. And it's back to the five, seven, seven. And then you get this cool little lick. Seven, nine is a hammer on on the G. Two times. And a seven on the G again. So just keep your first finger on the seven there. Up to nine on the D. 7-5 is a slide, so use your first finger there, and that's on the D string. And then it does a 7-5-7 seven, seven on the A string, as a sort of pull-off hammer-on. So on the album version, I can, I feel like I can hear the 7 there to end it, but on the live stuff, because it's a bit of a tricky move, so the live versions, they just tend to do a pull-off, so 7-5-0 um, is a pull-off which makes it a bit easier to get to the power chord after it. So yeah, I just whipped that in there as it sounded a bit more like the album, I think. So I'll just run through that last little lick at the end. Into the power chord. Back to the five, seven. And then we get to 12 as a cool vibrato on the G. So yeah, shake the hell out of that. Back to the power chords. And then this bit would be sweet if I had a Bixby or a Whammy, but it's just open on top. Drop it down. And then power chords to finish it. So I'll just run through that whole section a bit slowly for you. Around the 224 mark, uh, there's another little lick that comes over the top, and that's just at nine on the G. Try and use your third finger again, and then a pull off to seven. Back to the nine. So it's sort of like a nine nine before starting again. So that will get played around 16 times. So I'm just sort of vibratoing, like shaking that nine there. Each time it starts again, in a sense. And then finally at the end, um, it just does a 9, 7, 9, 7, 9 as a slide. So to take out the song, you'll just be doing the intro riff again, um, except it just finishes with a power chord. With the 5, 5, 7 on the A string. And so you can do it just with the straight strumming. by doing the hammer-ons. So yeah, either way sounds rad. Such a good song by Fu Man. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll catch you soon. Bye.